back in the days, four childhood friends formed a bond and took it to the next level through hip hop. Yo, this here has never been done before. So now, it shall be done. Yo, check this. Lost Boys, man. Some people ask, yo, what is the Lost Boys, man? Lost Boys is us, man. Mr. Cheeks, uh-huh. Freaky Todd, ah. Pretty Lou, uh-huh. Spig Nice. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. The Lost Boys, to me, I think, were just you know one of those groups that um, made feel-good music. Lost Boys, it felt like they took them parties that was happening over on Southside and took those parties and threw them right on the record. They represented Queens real well, you know. LB Fam held it down, you know. They they let they let us know, you know, what was what was going on, you know. Here you have the Lost Boys who were able to essentially uh, cultivate a very specific kind of identity. Man, when Chiefs and Towers together, that voice, that connection, that ad lib, that bond they had together was just so serious. And when they rapped together, I felt like I was in church. But when it comes to, to black music, Uptown Records was the black Motown, and Andre Harrell was the king. Basically, MCA said, yo, you can leave, but you're not leaving the fold. We're just starting this new universal thing, but we want you guys to be the first artist. Lost Boys undoubtedly were the, the first act to, to blow at Universal, undoubtedly. It, the streets wasn't even ready for that sound like that. Lifestyles of the rich, less cool business in the bins. Come on, Renee. It just felt so queen centric to me. It was so so queen specific. Australia, Switzerland, Japan, London. We in Nigeria bugging. We were like the first rap group to ever, American group to ever perform in Tanzania. That's when I really realized that, oh wow, I'm like, yo, we really, you know, Lost Boys is really hot. All, all through that time, um, you know, we we were making a lot of money touring, and we kind of all thought that there was, you know, that this would never end. Cheeks had his own ego and his own crew of dudes. Ty had his own ego and his own crew of dudes. You know, Cheeks do something, Ty do something. So people always ask the question, when we all going to do something? When we all going to do something? The music career of the rap artist known as Freaky Ty was silenced early Sunday morning with a single fatal gunshot. The streets just erupted, and that's when we got the news. Without him, I mean, that hurts. I mean, you know, first of all, regardless, forget hip-hop for a minute, you always want to see people live. It was to never happen in our lives, you know. It's the worst thing, the worst thing could happen to anyone to lose a kid, you know. So Mr. Blackwell, I don't believe you had anything to do with any of the bank robberies, but I'm a, any of the nine bank robberies that they say that you guys did, but I'm gonna charge you with five. So she hit a guy. Give me 37 years. So pull up a chair and get ready for American artists. The true story of the Lost Boys.